Hi, welcome to Inside Guelph. I'm your host, Trish Stevenson. Thanks for joining us. It's Monday, May 16th. This is your roadmap to the Royal City, all things local, right here on Rogers TV. Today's show, Guelph Little Theatre joining us. We also have your Seniors Association update. But starting us off right now, it's Sunday afternoons. Hi, Lynn and Lindsay. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for having us. Even just the, the name Sunday afternoons feels peaceful and lovely. So tell us what it is that you do. So we perform music for seniors. Uh, we go into retirement homes, long-term care settings, and uh, we bring back a pleasant Sunday afternoon and we bring our seniors to a start. Well, we ended up meeting at a performance that we were hired to sing at mm -hmm. um, in Toronto and we're talking, found out that we both wanted to perform music for seniors and kind of went from there and the Sunday afternoons was born. How did you, but how did you think about, I'd like to perform for seniors? Where did that idea even pop into your mind? Uh, well, both of us um, studied, I mean, I studied recreation and business in school um, and I grew up in a very musical family. My mom actually sings in retirement communities mm. up north where I'm from and I went and performed with her at one of the shows and it was extremely moving to, to be there and I felt like it was really making a difference. So that was sort of where I saw there being a need for young people to go in and perform at retirement homes. Um, and Lindsay, uh, she can tell her story. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, so I studied gerontology oh. um, at uh, Laurentian University, and I did um, do volunteer work in music therapy at St. Joseph's Health Center Guelph. From there, it made me want to go into it and bring music to seniors. And what have you seen? What's the response been? Well, it's, uh, every audience is different, but we've had um, people, you know, cry in response to music. We've had people who are completely nonverbal or non-communicative um, kind of come alive and respond either by, you know, tapping their toe or, you know, you see them smile. And it's just, it's a really beautiful moment to know that you're connecting with that person who it may be difficult to, to communicate with or sure. to, to get a response from. Yeah. So then when you're performing, are you watching it, um, transformations happen within your audience? I, I mean, I think so. And it's it makes me smile, you know, playing and seeing other people smile when you're playing. I play so many different, um, in so many different groups and I play a lot of music and this is one of my favorite audiences because they're just so responsive. And after the show, um, we'll talk to people and they'll, they'll tell us about, you know, this one guy, the last show we did, came up and um, told us about how he used to play in a folk band and he used to play some of the songs we played. So listening to that music that we were playing brought him back to his folk band days and he was just so happy to, to, to remember that and, and we were glad to share it with him. That's so cool. What are the years that you're covering when you're in the retirement homes as Sunday afternoons? Uh, in terms of music? Yeah. Yeah, so we cover anything from you know, early in the 1900s up until the 1960s. So a range of uh, show tunes, folk music, um, wartime classics, uh, Celtic music, hymns, any, basically a very wide range of music, yeah. uh, whatever our audience would like to hear. Oh, that covers a lot. Okay, well, we have a short clip here. So this is a small example of what you do. We'll have right. a listen. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Where can you find that video? Um, it's on our website, uh, thesundayafternoons.com. Okay. And we also have a Facebook page now, The Sunday Afternoons Music. Okay. Yeah. So is that where people can go and book you both? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That's, there's all of our contact information listed on, on the website. And so also those YouTube videos are available on our YouTube channel, Lynn and Lindsay, The Sunday Afternoons. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you cover a wide area as well. I mean, you're in Guelph, you're in Toronto. Yes. And doing The Sunday Afternoons in retirement homes, are you thinking of expanding your song and repertoire and your audience? Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, both of us are um, eager to learn and perform more music, and we and we do outside of the Sunday afternoons. And so together, um, we feel like we can 
do so many different genres and uh, and we are now starting to um, open ourselves up to um, more family events um, you know park openings um, private events and parties birthday parties things like that holiday parties uh, corporate events and things like that so okay yeah. so I'm thinking when you're in front of an audience like that with such a wide and when I say like that the seniors and uh, retirement homes they must bring up memories that they think oh do you have this song do you take requests when you're in there we do, yes, and we do our best to honor them on the spot, and um, if we're not able to do it right on the spot, we do bring it back the next time we're at that uh, retirement home. And Are there ones that are favorites that come up a lot? There mm -hmm. are, yes. Yeah. Um, anything from, like, the wartime. We do a lot of the Beatles. Um, people seem to enjoy hearing music from the Beatles, and... Um, Elvis Presley is a Elvis one. Presley, yes. Uh, standard. <laughs> uh, the Everly Brothers, yes. uh, the Andrews Sisters. Yes, anything by the Andrews Sisters. Um, show tunes, so we do the Sound of Music. Mm -hmm. um, any of the Celtic classics, uh, traditional Celtic music. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And so in your work with the music therapy, what are the benefits then for seniors to hear music? Appreciate music and to feel emotions connected to music stays relatively intact you know, as they progress with the, the disease. So you might be speaking to someone who doesn't know their children anymore, but they remember the music and they're able to sing the words to these songs from when they were teenagers. Oh, and it's amazing. it's really incredible. It's And it's a really good way to, you know, continue communicating and bring bring about positive experiences for people with dementia. Oh, sure. What a great way to connect. I think of the, the support network, the family being with them, to see that, to mm -hmm. see them come alive with the music would be very touching. Mm -hmm. So the Sunday afternoons, we're headed to your website, we're headed to your Facebook. Thank you so much, ladies. Next time when you come back, bring your guitar and both you can sing. Will Sounds do. great. Thank you so much here. for having us. Taking a short break when we get back, it's Guam.